What's up everybody? Maddie Mullins here at my house in Tennessee. Brittany and I moved here about seven years ago from Seattle. And one of the biggest selling points on this house for me is that there is a bonus room above the garage that I could turn into a studio. And if you followed me for a while, you've seen pictures and videos of the studio. It's really nothing too crazy, but I do spend a lot of time up there writing, recording and working. So when quarantine happened, we decided we were gonna do a bunch of updates around the house that we hadn't had the time to do until now. One of those updates is painting the entire inside of the house. Uh, the majority of the house is like a tan color right now, uh, but the studio and some of the closets are a brown color, like a bummer brown color. So we decided we're gonna do the entire house agreeable gray. And while we have everything off the walls and we're painting, I thought, why don't I also bring this other dream to life of mine? And that is turning the walk-in closet outside of the studio into a full-fledged vocal booth. I'm gonna document a bunch of the process so you guys can see it, but what I'm most excited for you to see is that you can take a space that you already have and with the right materials, you can turn it into an environment that's great for recording. Uh, so let's do it. All right, so here's the studio room, currently in shambles because we had to take everything off the walls in preparation for paint. And here is the closet that's becoming the vocal booth. Currently just a closet, but not for long. All patched up in here and ready for paint. First big project is to take out all this drywall along the flooring here. We're gonna go up and over this door and then through that wall on the other side of that is the closet that's becoming the vocal booth. So we'll put an XLR plate in there, another XLR plate over here by the desk. We're gonna put all of our XLR cabling in the walls. Once we patch it back up, paint it, you'll never see it again. Gotta give a shout out to Sweetwater. My guy Chris Leonard over there hooked all that up. If you're not familiar with Sweetwater, it's a one-stop shop for anything you could ever need musically. Check out sweetwater.com. Next big project is we're gonna frame up a window in this wall going between the vocal booth and the control room. And that's basically just so that I'm able to see and communicate clearly with whoever's engineering my vocals in this room. All right, we've got the window in, frame painted black. Walls patched up in the booth. XLR cabling in. Time for some paint. All right, wall repair and paint is done. Window is done, looking great. Shout out to Adams Pro Finish. Now it's just time to get these XLR face plates soldered on and we'll get the treatment up. And for the treatment, I'm using RLX Acoustics wedges, bass traps, and corner cubes. I've been using RLX products for a long time. They're all over my studio and I've always had great results with them. You can check them out at rlx.com. Okay. The treatment is up and y'all, the transformation is insane. You ready? Yes, sir. So what I did was I put corner cubes up here. We did base traps along these corners and along the ceiling. I put four inch wedges on the back wall and four inch wedges on the door, two inch wedges everywhere else. I'm gonna go in here and shut this door and you can probably hear in the video how much more dead it is in here now. It's a perfect environment for tracking vocals. All we gotta do is put a rug down and get the mic in here and wire it up. The rug is in, mic is in, wired up. Just tested everything, sounds killer. I use the Telefunken AK47 Mark II. In my opinion, Telefunken makes the best microphones on the market, check them out. And as you can see through the window here, Studio is all put back together, and we are back in action. Thanks for following along, and I'm going to get back to making some music.